So hello everyone, I'm Lucy, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing the book heart tag. This was created by Sana from Books and Quills and Jean from Bookish Thoughts. I'll link their original video down below. Please check it out, it's a really, really funny video and they give great recommendations. So definitely check that video out. So this tag video is to do with all things love and romance and it's not Valentine's Day but I just felt like doing it. So yeah, excuse the randomness of this. So the first question is, who is your favourite literary couple? So I've done actually a video all about my top 10 literary couples. It's very, very out of date, so I might update that sometime soon, but it's actually like my most viewed video. I'll link it down below anyway, but it will come as no surprise to you guys that my favourite literary couple are Darcy and Elizabeth from The Incredible Pride and Prejudice. Like, I bang on about this book so much and I don't even, yeah, it's just not changed. They are still my favourite couple after all these years of being on booktube. And I think in terms of YA, I must say Juliet and Warner from the Shatter Me trilogy by Tahera Maffey. So these are two characters who go through a lot of character growth and that's what I like about them. They're just so kind of like, you never see their relationship coming in the first book. And then the third book comes. I don't mean to spoil anything. I probably just really spoiled it there. But these two are just incredible. I love their romance. I love their story. And yeah, so Darcy and Elizabeth and Warner and Juliet from Shatter Me for the first question. The second question is a really great question because it is who are your top three fictional boyfriends slash girlfriends? So I've already got my top three. I know who my top three are. My number one is obviously William Herondale because obviously. The second is Reese from A Court of Thorns and Roses. So this is a new edition and I just, yeah, he just needed to shoot straight into the top three. And the third one is probably Warner from the Shatter Me trilogy. As you know, I adore this series, I adore him, everything about him is perfection. So it's a kind of a very like YA centred top three there, but I think YA is so great for those like boys that you know are fictional but still are a little bit in love with so there you go that's my top three so the third question is what's a romantic trope that you wish people or authors would stop using so this was a really hard one for me and i actually was thinking and i couldn't really come up with anything but then i realized what i hate most sometimes about ya books with a love triangle in them or a love story in them and that is when the female protagonist, it's usually the female protagonist, kind of do something because of a romantic interest and it's a really stupid decision. So that's something I really can't stand in any book really, is when a character is so in love with someone that she kind of just like forsakes everything else, like nothing else matters. So really I think it's when characters make really stupid decisions because of a love interest. Okay, so the fourth question is which literary couple are terrible for each other? This is already going to be a controversial question because my only answer is they're not actually a couple but I can see it heading that way and I know they've got a lot of support but basically it's from the Throne of Glass series and it is Selena and Dorian. Please don't shoot me, I'm sorry, okay? I'm just a big Kale and Selena shipper and whenever people say that Dorian is meant to be with Selena, I'm just like no, I'm, I'm done with that ship, I can't that can't happen. So I would think that these two would be a really terrible pairing. I know I'm gonna get so much hate for this. I'm sorry if I've really upset you. Um, but yeah, those are my opinions. Also, Selena with anyone else apart from Kale. Th there we go, that's it. The fifth question is the best romantic book to movie adaptation. Again, I fear the risk of repeating myself, but it's gonna have to be Pride and Prejudice. I am obsessed with the book of course, it's my favourite book, but also the 2005 movie adaptation with Keira Knightley and Matthew McFadden. I'm absolutely obsessed with that version and I just think it looks so beautiful. It's very visual and stunning and I really, really like that version. I also think a brilliant book to movie adaptation is North and South and then the TV adaptation with Richard Armitage in it. I just love that version and yeah, I would say North and South for that one too. The sixth question is, what is the best book to read to your boyfriend slash girlfriend? So I don't really know what to pick to this because I hate people kind of reading books out loud to me, which is kind of awkward. And also I get tired of reading books aloud to people. So I think I'd just pick something quite quick that would capture their interest, that's quite funny, 
and also has that warmth and humour and heart to it. So I would pick Elmer and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Any Rainbow Rowell book really would probably do because I don't think there's a risk or any risk at all of being bored by Rainbow Rowell. And also she's just got that humour which I think would probably translate quite well if you read it aloud. The seventh question is which book would you say would be your favourite on a first date? So if somebody asked you on a first date what your favourite book is. I'd probably say Pride and Prejudice, I'd be honest. I mean, I know it sounds like I'm just repeating the same old crap again and again. Um, but yeah, that's my favourite book and I'd be honest about that. And then I think I'd probably say a YA book. So I'd probably say Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare because that is one of my favourite books and one of my favourite series. And question eight is the best book to read after a breakup. Now I'm going to be quite controversial here and say Gone Girl because I think after a breakup you wouldn't want anything too soppy. You wouldn't want anything kind of reminding you of you know, a relationship or anything like that. And Gone Girl is the epitome of a toxic relationship and yeah, it would kind of put me off thinking of a loved one for quite a while. Question nine is, what is your favourite same-sex couple in literature? So I've got two options. The first one is Simon and Blue from Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda. If you've not read this book before, please do. I'll link my review to it in the description bar below. It is such a fantastic book and also Simon and Blue are very, very cute together and I just love their relationship. The second has to be Magnus and Alec from the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. These two, I refuse to believe that they're fictional. They have to be real because they're too perfect. And yeah, I'm a little bit in love with them, you probably can tell. But um, I absolutely adore their relationship. I love each of them as characters. Magnus, I would die just to, yeah, I just love him. So definitely Malik and then Simon and Blue and yeah. Perfect. And the last question is, which book would you give to someone as a symbol of your affection? So for me, it'd have to be like a gift book. I don't think I'd give somebody a fiction book just because I'd be so like conscious whether they like it or not, especially if it's one of my favorite books and I give it to someone and they're like, hate it. And then what would you do? You wouldn't even be able to be in the same room as them. So I'm going to choose The Odyssey by Homer, this penguin cloth band edition, just because I think it's a perfect gift book and also it's nice for decoration. They can use it as a door stopper if they want to, I wouldn't advise that. But yeah, I think classics are really great gift books so I'd definitely give a classic. So guys, thank you so much for watching, that's it for the book heart tag and I'll see you next time guys for another video. Bye!